Hello, you guys. This is Jessie, and I am just coming in with a quick update. This is only going to be a few minutes long. Uh, pretty much, I wanted to discuss uh, the end of the make along that I was posting the Yoohoo! Big Stash Blowout. Uh, it was set to end yesterday, May 1st, um, because of our move. Uh, however, with COVID happening, I have decided to extend it indefinitely. It will definitely go until August just because moving and if for some reason there are still restrictions anywhere then I will continue it through until all restrictions are lifted. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit briefly about why I haven't been recording and that is with COVID happening uh, the Army decided that they were going to have as many soldiers telework as possible which means that my husband was home working all day every day since pretty much the beginning of March and it's it's not only weird to record while he's here because he can hear me talking to my screen but it's also really difficult because if he gets a call or something my husband is very um he's a loud talker and he's constantly on the phone and if anything goes wrong or his privates do something stupid there's going to be yelling and I don't want you guys to hear that in the background and I can't always guarantee um, what he's discussing is going to be safe for civilian ears if you can hear it so uh, the joys of having husband that discusses finance and moving things that he talks about things I'm not supposed to know about sometimes <laughs> And I just try and tune him out as much as possible. But I don't want to have any chance of him discussing things be in the background for you guys to hear. I don't want anybody to get in trouble or there to be anything to happen. And that's just, um, the Army's very big on this thing, on what's called OPSEC, which is operational security. And you don't release dates, information, locations. And I just, I want to make sure that I follow it to the highest letter of the law possible. <laughs> So, um, with COVID as well, of course it happens that right after I announced that we're moving to Bragg, that this, that this virus occurs and it throws everything out of whack. For a little while, we didn't know if we were going to be here for another few weeks, if we were going to be here for months, or if they were just going to extend us for a whole other year, which some people, they have done that too at this point. And so things were just thrown up in the air when they placed travel bans for the Department of Defense. So, like, as of right now, American citizens can travel where they need to. Of course, it's not recommended, but um, I, as a dependent of the Army and my husband, and all soldiers that are living here overseas are not allowed to leave the country that we are currently in, be it that's where we live, that's where we were visiting. Um, they gave us about a week to make arrangements to travel back to our country of residence if needed or if possible. And so um, we had people coming in from Saudi Arabia back here. We had people coming back from Italy, from Poland, and it just, <sighs> we're not, all the borders at that point closed for all uh, civilians and soldiers alike in these countries and so we were supposed to go to Disney over Easter break didn't happen because we are not allowed to leave and we are currently still not allowed to leave the country or uh, farther than 20 kilometers from our house or his workplace until June 30th so it kind of threw us for a loop with our move uh, as of right now we are scheduled to officially be there mid-August. However, we have requested to be back in the States earlier, and that'll put us as arriving there in about mid-July, if we, if we get approved. We don't know yet. We just put in the paperwork the other day. It's going to take him a little bit of time to figure it out. But so that's partially why I wanted to get this out here so you guys knew what was going on and why it's kind of harder for me to record right now. Um, you will see that I have <laughs> 
boxes out here filled with yarn and empty shelves. Uh, you can see my Ziplocs there. Not a sponsor, obviously, because it's just thrown in the back. Um, but I am packing all of my yarn myself because I don't trust the packers to do it. Last time, I let them just pack my craft room like normal. And I didn't worry about it because I was still very new to yarn and fiber arts at that point. And so when we got here, uh, <laughs> I opened some of the boxes with a box cutter and I ripped through at least four skeins of nice indie dyed yarn, which hurt my heart <laughs> and my wallet. So I'm not doing that this time. I'm packing it myself. And it's that's why I'm going to show you these acquisitions here. I'm not going to show projects right now just because I don't have time for a full podcast and my husband is downstairs doing a work call on a Saturday, of course. Uh, for information purposes, today is Saturday, May second uh, and it's 2020 because year of COVID-19 <laughs> stay home uh, I'm a little delirious I have not really left the house that much since quarantine started here <laughs> anyways I'm going to show you my acquisitions so that that way I can get them packed up and not have to worry it's just one thing to get off my plate and then maybe later in the week I can sit down and have like a whip parade or a finished object parade and it'll that way you can still see what I've been working on because I have finished some things and I even started and completed a project that you guys have never seen before. <laughs> so <laughs> I just want to get this done though so that I can get these packed up. So we are going to start with indie dyers that are not Hawari Bazaar Yarn Co. because we all know she's my dyer of the year this year and she's my friend and most of the yarn that I've purchased is from her. Uh, so first off, we have, from Molly Klein Design, there is going to be crinkling. I'm sorry, guys. Typically, I would take the yarns, the skeins, out of the bag before I show them to you, but since these are getting packed up to move, they're staying in their bags. This is a Tangled colorway, and it is called Sky of Lanterns. I think it's beautiful, and... Um, <laughs> It's funny because I am currently cat sitting for a friend of mine and <laughs> this yarn has been sitting on my desk for weeks, not moving. The cats get here and they have decided that it is their favorite skein of yarn in my room. And so it's constantly getting moved throughout the house. <laughs> so I had to search for it for a minute before I could show it off to you guys. These are from Nomadic Yarns, uh, part of her Ready to Ship update that she did a few weeks ago. Uh, I'm at the point now where I don't feel comfortable to order dyed to order skeins from any dyers at this point just because I can't guarantee with turnaround times whether they can make it here or not before we uh, close out our post office box in order to, to ship out. <laughs> so we have Hermione on the... Um, Brit sock base, which is 400 yards, it's superwash BFL, 80% and 20% nylon. We have Gillyweed, which is also Brit sock. We have Weasley's Wizard Wheezes, which is trusty sock, which is 462 yards, 75, 25 superwash merino and nylon. And then this is for Privet Drive in her Spark sock base which is 438 yards, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and 5% stellina. Sky of Lanterns is her sweet sock base, which is a 75, 25, 100 grams, 460 yards. I just want to make sure I don't forget to give you that info. All right. Now the rest of the yarn that you're going to see is all from Corinne, a.k.a. Horror Bizarre Yarn Co., a.k.a. One of my besties, and she's my army friend because BTS army for life. All right, <laughs> we have Cassiopeia in the Nova sock base, which is 75 25 uh, merino nylon, 436 yards. We have the BTS March Club colorway, which is spring day with the mini. You can see it right here. Also on the Nova sock base. And I don't care what anyone says, people will say that uh, the pink in here is from the music video. It's not. It's from Jimin's pink hair, because 
Who doesn't love Jimin with pink hair? It's a thing. You can ask um, Tea Fueled Living. You can ask Corinne. You can ask me. It's important. We have Ember, which is Nova fingering. We have Pumpkin Spice Everything, which is her starry base. So uh, it sparkles. We have Obsidian, which is both of these darker colors. The light's not doing it justice. It's really this beautiful, plummy, smoky plum color. We have it in her Amir base, which is cashmere. And we have it in the Nova soft base as well. This is Lavender Sprig in the Nova base. And this is 20,000 Leagues in the Nova soft base. The Amir soft base, that's the cashmere, is 801010. And most of her fingering weight is 463 yards, but Amir is 435. And the Sparkle, which is the Starry Base, is 438 yards. All right. And sorry if I'm speaking quickly. This is the second time I've had to record it because I got a phone call right in the middle of the last one, and you can totally hear my ringtone. And I just, I didn't want that to happen. And it was... It interrupted in a weird spot. <laughs> okay. We have The Land of the Dead and her Scarab Worsted, which is a 75-25 merino nylon superwash, and it's approximately 245 yards. We have Mystic Opal, which if you want to see how she dyes yarn, uh, this is one of her one-of-a-kinds, and she actually has an Instagram TV on it, and you get to see her create it. And I love what she does is at the end of the of her dying week, she'll take all of her leftovers and she'll put on an Instagram live saying, well, she'll put on a poll saying, do you want more jewel tones or subtle or neons or uh, neutrals? And you get to help her create a one of a kind yarn using her leftovers at the end of the dye week. And you, then you get to watch her dye it on the Instagram TV. It's really cool. This is a BTS colorway, I Purple You, uh, which um, ARMY fans will tell you uh, that it means like, I love you, I support you, I trust you. Uh, it encompasses all of these feelings. It's in the Nova Sock base, and so um, I have something in my eye, oh my goodness. I'm going to pause really quickly and I will be right back. Sorry about that, you guys. It was going to bother me, and I am not about to re-record this for the third time. So I'm sorry. It's just going to stay in there. Can't do anything about it. We're almost done, though, so no worries. Here we have Eris, which is her Damask DK base. 7525 uh, Superwash Merino Nylon. I do specify that it's Superwash, even though, yes, a lot of times yarn is superwash. Um, she also has a non-superwash line, so I always want to specify. Uh, it's also 245 yards, just like her Scarab Worsted is. And I think that this is eventually going to become a Ripple Bralette. I'm really excited about it. It's a beautiful colorway. Uh, Sophia Tron is knitting one in Corinne's color, uh, Fake Love, and it's stunning. Well, what I saw of it at the time is stunning. So I want to do one in Corinth's yarn as well. This is a different nerdy themed yarn that's not BTS. It is Anastasia's Once Upon a December in her Nova fingering weight. And I love it because it's a very subtle. It's got the tiniest hint of blue on it and then um, it has little speckles of like pink right there. And then finally, if you guys follow her on Instagram, you've probably seen this, but it deserves to be mentioned here because it's fabulous. She did this custom colorway for me and it is Disney inspired from one of my top three Disney movies. It's called I Can See the Light. That means it's from Tangled. This is all in her Nova sock weight. And I'm so excited to play with this, you guys. You have no idea. I really want to take it out of the package 
and play with it now and knit it now but I can't because I have too many other things on the needles but, oh, it's gonna be one of the first things I touch when we get to brag so that is all of my acquisitions that I am showing you guys I have had um, a lot of needle minders come in for my cross stitching which I haven't done in months but the plan is that once I finish all the things on my knit to do list which I've told you guys about it is getting close to being done I promise I only have well one of the things I have on my needles is the uh, DK sweater and caviar and I'm working on the yoke right now there's only about 30 rows left of it in total until it is complete and then I will only have two projects left on this list so I'm quite proud of myself for that but so once that is done then I will start to cross stitch just because it's something that's a little easier to transport takes less room uh, inter it entertains you for hours upon hours upon hours and it's just it's easier to move with so uh, yes I have had a bunch of needle minders come in and they're just they're gonna have to wait for a different day because I just I don't have the time right now so until I see you guys next time do what makes your heart sing for me with two sticks and string see ya